Hello guys and welcome. In today's video, we are going to take a look at day one of TriHackMe's advent of cyber. So if we just scroll down a little bit here, what we want to do is get the machine started, which we are going to connect to. So I will be connecting to this via my Caddy Linux machine. So in the top right corner, I'm going to link a video on how to set up the VPN to connect to TriHackMe. So the first part of this is to investigate a website. So the website is a YouTube to MP3 converter. So once the machine is up and running, what you can do is just copy the IP address, open a new tab and go to the IP address. So here we can see it's a YouTube to MP3 converter. So what we have got here is a link to a YouTube video. So what we want to do is copy this link. And what we're going to do is convert this YouTube video into an MP3 file. And then we're going to click here, download file. And now we can see it's downloaded a zip file. So what they're asking us to do is to go into our downloads folder and just extract that zip file. And there we can see two files. One is smong.mp3 and the other is song.mp3. So now what they're asking us to do is inspect the headers of both files. So we can do that by opening up terminal. We'll CD to the downloads folder. And now what we can do is type in file and then we'll start with song.mp3. So from here, as far as I can tell, this looks like a normal MP3 file. So if we just change that to song.mp3, we can see the header information for this. And it looks like a Windows shortcut. And it looks like the shortcut points to a PowerShell script. So scrolling down a bit further on the task, it looks like they want us to use the EXIF tool. So firstly, we'll do it for the song.mp3. So here we can see some additional information for this file. Again, nothing stands out as malicious with this one. And then if we do the same for smong.mp3, again, from what we saw using the file command, we could see that it's a PowerShell script or points towards a PowerShell script. And we can also see a download file location from GitHub. So if we just scroll down a little bit more, what we're going to do is just copy this link here and open this in a new tab. And here we can see the contents of that PowerShell script. So looking at the contents of it, it looks like it is going after cryptocurrency. So it looks like a cryptocurrency stealer. Also as well, it looks like it captures login details saved from browsers. And then here it looks like any information captured is sent to a C2 server. So here we've also got it on the text here saying that the script is to steal cryptocurrency wallets and saved browser credentials. It looks like on the script there was also a signature that states created by the one and only m.m. So if we just visit the script again, 
we can see that there. So what the task wants us to do is go ahead and search the source of this PowerShell script. So here we've got a link to a GitHub page. So what we're going to do is just right click and open a new tab. And then what we're going to do is click on PowerShell version of this question mark to see what's in here. And we can see some comments by various people. So here's that PowerShell script again. So it looks like that this is the malicious actor with the PowerShell script. So if we click on his GitHub page, we can see his repositories. So again, there is that same PowerShell script. And then let's just click on here and see what's in here. So by the looks of it, M.M stands for Mare Malware. And it looks like he's going to do anything he can to sabotage Stockness. Okay, so this part is just an introduction to operational security. So I would advise reading this with a couple of case studies of that. So if we scroll down to where the questions are, we'll start getting some of these answered. So here, if we run xfiftoolsong.mp3, which we did earlier up here, what we want to do is find the author of the song. So if we go through here, we can see artist. And it looks like we've got Tyler Ramsby. Okay, so this question here is asking the URL of the C2 server in the PowerShell script. So if we go back to that PowerShell script, we pointed this out earlier, it's here. So what we will do is we'll copy this. And we'll get that pasted in there. So who is m.m? So we saw this a moment ago. It's Mare Malware. And then here we've got a question asking how many commits are on the GitHub repository. So what I'm going to do is just use the hint to get there. So if we just go back to GitHub, we'll just paste in the link on the hint. And we can see we've just got the one commit there. So thank you for watching and I look forward to day two of TriHackMe's Advent of Cyber.